Next up, we have Mega Man by 8F Games. We take some donations while we wait. We've got $50 from Artemide. Ever since I watched my first speed run, I've been fascinated with the different techniques developed to beat these games quick. Keep it up. We've got a hundred dollars from Viva La Gaming 360. Here's 100 to an amazing event. Yes, I can still donate from the donation station. Amazing event, and let's just let's see just how high we can push this total. Thank you. 
good? <laughs> Golden, do we not have the perfect person to hold the whale? What, should I hold the whale? No, 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 no we no, have the perfect person to hold the whale. It's his no, dad. This is the dad's dad. Oh. This is the dad's dad. It's a perfect person. <laughs> I just want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were telling me to hold it. I'm like, right. it's no, I said we have the perfect person to hold it. I'd like to give uh, a few quick shout outs to the mega dudes. Uh, got sitting behind me a few of them Dark Man, Dark Terrace, Golden, and others. Uh, the Mega Man block this year is going to be really hype. Mega Man hype? Also, my dad, who came, holding the Rainbow Whale. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Three, two, one, go. All right, so if you're familiar with Mega Man 1 speedrunning, this might look a little bit different. Uh, the route changed last year, um, around August, uh, due to the fact that a glitch was found in real time, uh, applicable in real time, in which you can get the magnet beam earlier than uh, you're supposed to. You don't have to use the Gutsman weapon anymore. Uh, so this allows us uh, to do cut first, and then go beat Elecman and get the Magnet Beam early. And the reason why he's going to be picking up Magnet Beam early, the reason why you want Magnet Beam so early is Magnet Beam allows you to do a lot of zips in this game, which basically allow you to cut a lot of time off your time. The duo don't get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's honestly not much going on right now other than uh, some select uh, use of the select button. Uh, when you pause in this game, either with select or uh, the start button, um, uh, basically um, you reset enemies' hitboxes and you can also reset your own. Uh, and while unpausing select or start, um, enemies can't move but you can for a slight amount of time. So you might see me do some select jumps, and I'll go right through some enemies. Right up here we have a screen wrap. Um, NES's wrap screens vertically. Uh, so you can actually grab ladders at the bottom of the screen from the top of the screen. Dang. All right, so big guys either will jump high or jump low. Basically, if they jump low, shun them. <laughs> You might die to cut. That's okay. You got this. Don't worry about it. You got it. Oh well. That's it's okay. Right. It's alright. It's alright. It's not huge. Now we can go get sweet, sweet vengeance. Later in the run, um, there's a trick that requires a death. So if I die again, I'm gonna have to purposely game over somewhere uh, so that I can have a death to do that trick. Uh, and it actually skips a very significant amount. Did anybody see what the points were at the beginning? I didn't. Oh, it's uh, 80k. Rip. Runs over. <laughs> Okay, Elecman, this is the worst stage in the game. <laughs> it's awful. And mean and terrible. Oh, those colors. There's a lot of precise jumps in this stage. Um, just right there alone. Start off with a bang. There's use of uh, this electric I forgot to mention. Uh, it also resets your momentum. So if you get hit by an enemy, normally you would get pushed back. Uh, however, using this electric, you can stop your momentum. And this allows you to uh, not fall off edges and general useful stuff. Shoutouts to Nadua. Nadua, 
Norway or highway. <laughs> So coming up we have the Magna Beam early. This is a very precise, difficult, scary trick. Um, essentially, I actually Darkman, can you explain this? Okay, so basically he has to grab the ladder. He has to press down and shoot on the same frame, which he did right there. Now he has to jump up. He has to be careful to go left not too far. If he goes left too far, he gets in the box. A death. So if he presses left too much, he goes in the box and he soft locks the game because he has no guts man to get out of there. So it's a really hard trick. It's really scary. <laughs> There's a big guy up here that can troll pretty hard. If he does, I won't be able to do a strat, but hopefully. Also have to not die to a leg man. Uh, each of his shots do 10 damage, um, and touching him does close to that or that, I think. And I only have three. Okay. He can give uh, two or three different patterns. That was a slow one. So I had to resort to Selectric. I typically don't have to. Uh, if, he gives, if he's nice, he'll walk to you uh, both times and you can avoid his Elect Beams pretty easily. Iceman is the most broken stage in the game. Um, you won't see it here, uh, but hopefully after the run, if I've got time, I can show some of that off. Um, it's just, I can't even explain it. <laughs> That's very accurate. Yeah. To be honest, they just didn't care when they programmed this stage. We've got $50 from Nadua. Adef, you better make Norway proud or it's the highway for you. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to all the classic Mega Man runners. Cheers from Nadua. Be quiet, Nadua. <laughs> Oh, now he's nice. nice. Okay, there you go. <laughs> the time when, when it doesn't it's totally count. unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go double moonwalk. All right, nice. Yeah, there it is. Say, so you really don't want to use a luck as much as you, as little as you can because, as you can see, a luck really lags the game a lot. So. Fireman is the most zip-heavy level in the game. Um, zips basically, by positioning the magnet beam um, in a certain amount of pixels from the ceiling, the game pushes you to the right. Uh, they're all pixel perfect. Uh, nice. so, there we go. He's got another one coming up. Uh, okay. Yes. Those were the easy ones in this level. Fireman is one of the most challenging Robot Master stages because there's just so many zips involved. Okay. 
and grab both refills. No, that's okay. Uh, there's a really weird zip coming up. There's this pit. I don't know if it was intended to kill you if you fell in it, but you just go through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Like you, you have, said. If you have enough velocity entering it. We said, well programmed game. Hey, this zip is the hardest in the game in my opinion. Got it. There we go. Nice. nice. That is really scary. <laughs> it's so easy to like mistime your ice shot there and then they just they go up too high and you just can't progress until they unfreeze. <laughs> and if you if you hit any enemies during that zip, you die like instantly because your whole movement is messed up. And if you press select you'll go too fast. So typically Fireman would be like the hardest robot master in the game, but I mean it's just a joke. <laughs> I don't know why you're clapping, it's like really easy. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite stage. Um, my favorite zip is also in this stage. It just looks really fancy. There it is, hello. There's the shot. Never stop holding right. Okay, here's the zip. Um, this one, unlike Fireman, isn't... I mean, now that I say that, it's not like that's gonna happen, but... I should be. Okay. Yeah, you're... electric there, but I think it's more fun to just not let him throw the bomb. Gutsman, um, uh, before the new route, was not a hard stage, but with the addition of Magnet Beam, it becomes a really technical stage, um, with a lot of precise placements, um, and it all comes down to the first jump, believe it or not. Okay. We end there. I also use Magnet Beam in this room, but um, it's a little risky. So you could get hit and waste more time than it saves. Basically, the way you use Magnet Beam in this card is it's like basically you traverse like through the ceiling. I won't say through the ceiling, but like the ceiling basically like zips you through. Yeah. But they're really hard to pull off, so not many people go for that. It's being mean. Alright. One shot. <laughs> 
<laughs> Come on, Gunsman. Basically, you're seeing how really awful Bomb's power is. And it's really how... not good. <laughs> like, where did they think this would be useful in the game? <laughs> it's really useful later, but in no way they intended. <clears throat> Sorry, it's not as bad as Power Stone. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> You'll be seeing some Power Stone later. <laughs> Worst weapon. We've got a $35 donation from Dexter. Wiggle, wiggle, or go home, ADEF. Just kidding. <laughs> Good luck, Dexter. Wiggle, <laughs> wiggle. You'll see a little bit later what they mean by wiggle. Hopefully I'll be able to pull that off. That was close. Two really close ones. <laughs> Take damage from that one on purpose. Babby strikes. You can actually just jump through those corridors, but it's really tough. Here it is. Alright. <laughs> that jump looks really easy, but trust me. <laughs> Points run? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this has been a pretty good stage so far, and um, we'll see how the Yellow Devil treats us. This is infamously one of the most difficult bosses in video games, or at least in Mega Man, the classic ones. But, I mean, I'll just kill some <laughs> coming up that I honestly shouldn't go for, <laughs> but who needs that? It's alright, just do it. Nice. I invented that accidentally. I don't know, it's probably already been done. <laughs> um, grabbing these refills, it's not necessary, but there's a trick. Two zips coming up um, in the next stage and the one after that. Uh, that I'm going to want the magnet beam for, uh, and if I mess it up, I need as much ammo as possible. For some reason, two of the refights in this game are in Wily 2. All of the other Mega Man games, I guess this is the first one, so trial and error. There's also a way to skip them, um, with you guessed it, zips, but it's really precise and very difficult. Basically, if you mess up those zips in Wily 2, it's pretty much run over, so... You can soft lock. Yeah. Pretty easily. You can die, you can soft lock the game, it's just so brutal to go for them. There's also, um... The same trick we used to get the magnet beam early, where we shot and went down on the ladder at the same frame. You can do that here too, but there's a possibility to die. Um, if you time it just too late or just too early. I've had people ask me why we use um, the fire weapon on the copy robot. Um, it's the fastest because it leaves the screen the fastest and has the least lag. You can use the elect beam and utilize the select trick, uh, but fire tends to be the fastest just because, as you can see, there's no lag as it leaves the screen. Oh, come on. 
Oh, nice, we got the wall. Oh, sweet. Nice. Keep going, Mega Man. <laughs> it's standing already. Okay, this stage has one of the most important zips. If you miss it, it wastes a lot of time. Find the top of the screen. There's one, that's only the first part. You do that one because you don't want enemies to be on this screen, and doing that despawns them. Basically, that's a frame-perfect trick. Um, it has to be when the last block leaves the screen, the frame that it leaves the screen, you have to press the, I believe, shoot button, and yeah. it creates another block. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> There are two zips in this stage. Um, the first one is a zip like we've been seeing. The second one is weird, <laughs> yep. uh, but it skips a huge part of the game. Uh, it skips all the rest of the refights. Nice. nice. Very nice. Chloe says, way to go, Clay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all right, so um, I'm going to try to explain this as best as I can. <laughs> Welcome to Wind Waker. There we go, you got it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Alright, I'm explaining this as quick as possible. If you have a weapon on the screen, you can't pause. And when you're uh, mashing the start button, when you can't, when you get hit, Mega Man climbs the screen as long as your weapon is on the screen. And if you get over a certain point in that stage with the weapon out, and Bomb Man throws his bomb and it explodes. You swap sprites with the bomb, and that zips you into the left side of the screen. And if you're high enough, um, oh, time is coming up, by the way. Uh, <laughs> if you're high enough, um, you go into the robot uh, master refights, and that's it. Time. It was like a 22.19. That is literally Cool Kid's time from AGDQ. <laughs> All right, is it time for Wiggle? Yeah, it's time. Yes. Okay, so last month or two months ago, <laughs> a trick that was previously thought to basically be tasks only to like all the credits, um, there was, I don't even know how to explain this. <laughs> you wiggle. If you, you, wiggle. you just wiggle. <laughs> You'll understand what we mean. Hopefully something happens. I'm gonna tell you right now, like, 1 in 256 chance that this actually works. So, anything is possible. And by anything, we literally mean anything. Like, I'm not, like, but everything. You can, well, you'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Spawn bosses, reset the game, it's all possible. Crash the game. Yeah. I hope something interesting happens. Wiggle, wiggle. Happy reset, yeah, happy reset. Respect. <laughs> that's pretty much what happens every time. That's one of the most common outcomes from that. <laughs> so that's, that's Mega Man 1. Go play it. Right, yeah. <laughs>
Shoutouts to checkers. Shoutouts to checkers. <laughs> Alright, great job, ADEF. Next up, we have Mega Man 3 by Checkers. We've got a few donations here. We've got $35 from Olera. Been watching these for a few years and they're always amazing. Mega Man Block is one of my favorites. We've got $100 from Ryujin. Hey there guys, good luck on the classic Mega Mans. Here's some clear points to help out and to benefit Doctors Without Borders. P.S. Good luck with Top Spin. We've got $35 from Uber Donut. First time watching SGDQ live. Really glad I took a sick day today so I could watch the Mega Man block. Keep up the good work. 